going up. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. You missed the boat, buddy. Main assembly line. Oh, is this the right place? Oh, there's people in here. Let's murder them. That's always fun. That was it. That was the last guy. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. It's not even true anyway, because there's also like three other people in here. Someone. <laughs> like I never knew what hit him. least one more here. Show yourself. Ah! Oh, fuck! You motherfucker! Whoa! Not cool. That was not cool. <laughs> that dude just hit me with a grenade and almost killed me. Oh, I need a stim pack. Desperately. Do it now, hurry. Jeez. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. Do you guys have any idea how mad I would have been if I had gotten all the way up here and then fucking died from that? Oh, dude. I would have been livid. Livid is the word. The only word. The bird is the word. Okay. Okay, we're good. There's one more asshole somewhere. Oh. That has a Corvega safe key. Hold up. Die. Let that be a lesson to you. Even a level one enemy can still throw a grenade. <laughs> I guess some more people came up. I'll deal with them in a second. This guy has a Corvega safe key. I'm not sure that I ever found the safe in this place. Or this. Hell yeah. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks. Okay. I don't really care about that, but I'll take it for the collection. There's something out there. Another oh, fucking Whoa. Nick! Don't fucking walk in front of me when I'm shooting. Did you guys see how I set the ground on fire with my laser pistol? Must have been a gas leak over there or something. That's pretty cool. Okay. Did we look at Jared's terminal when we were here before? Setting up shop. Where the currently service. I think we did read this. Hello. We don't really need to go through it again. Lightweight, reinforced, combat armor. Nine, huh? Uh, what is that, right arm? Not as good as what I got. Okay. Can't tell if this was storage or trash. Why not both? Where's this safe they speak of? Ah, this place is hot. Fuck. Hold on, you figure a safe has got to be in like an office area, right? You know what would be funny is if they put it on the ceiling. <laughs> Who would think to look for a safe on the ceiling? If anybody ever came in and tried to break into my safe, I would just put it up top. Because nobody would look up to look for a safe. I think there's logic in that. Oh, Jesus. Keep out. 
<laughs> Look at that shit. Uh, they put it behind a sign that says keep out. You know, that's, uh... What do they call that? Uh, what was that... What was that celebrity who tried to keep a photographer from publishing pictures of her house? And because of that, everybody knew where her house was. I can't remember who it was. Like, Diane Keaton or something? That's not right. There was some female celebrity who got mad at a photographer who took pictures of the coast, and her house ended up being in the pictures, because her house was on the coast. And she tried to sue him to keep him from publishing the pictures. And uh, because of the notoriety and media from the lawsuit, everybody figured out where her house was. And if she had just fucked off, nobody would have ever known. It's one of my favorite stories. I just can't remember who it was. <laughs> and also, I have to figure out how the hell to get out of here now. This place is really very annoyingly designed. Fuck. There we go. Now, is there a... Ooh. I missed these when I ran past them last time. Yes. What's yours is mine. I got an achievement. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's keep moving. I think we want to go down this way. Yeah, we should be able to get out through the sewers. Not that way. This way. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I am happy to be out of that place. That was a pain in the balls. Although I'm pretty sure uh, the place that I only could access with the elevator, I think I missed that the first time around. So I do wonder, if I had gone up there and killed the guys that were up there, would I have had to do this again? The world may never know. Alright, let's fast travel back to Ten Pines Bluff. Oh, that's awesome. Luck is a measure of your general good fortune and affects the recharge rate of critical hits. I should probably really start pouring points into like my stats. I've been buying almost nothing but perks and not raising the things that govern those perks. Look at all these people here. Stick to the roads, and you got a better chance of surviving. Good caps to be made protecting folk. What's up, Lucas Miller? <clears throat> My armor saved many a wastelander. Oh, yeah? What kind of stuff do you have? I sell armor for Old Man Stockton's outfit, based out of Bunker Hill. Been selling armor to smart wastelanders for years. The dumb ones walk away empty-handed. But they don't stay dumb long, if you catch my meaning. You are quite the salesman, sir. Let's see what you got. What you see is what you get. Hmm. All right. The uh, braced shadow combat armor left arm, champion left arm, plus one strength and endurance, and fifteen damage resistance. All right. Uh, let me find my stuff. That was a left arm, right? I've got the strengthened buttress raider left arm. Ten weight, ten damage. This is lighter and way better. 697 bucks. But <laughs> fuck it, man. <laughs> I'm a high roller. I've got 7,000 caps. What do I care? <laughs> what else? So this is the kind of thing right here that pisses me off. So this enameled metal helmet, I think, is not as good as the helmet I'm wearing right now. But I have no way of knowing how good it would be once I modded it up. Actually, it might be the same, because I think it's the same base item. That's just enameled, mine's alloyed. Yeah, it's hard to say. Alright, the rest of this stuff. Mantis left arm guard. 10% chance to disarm melee attacker on hit. Nah. Mantis left grieve. 
Damn, that's pretty good too. 15,000 caps. Yeah, <laughs> moving on. Okay, he's got shipments of stuff. Reduces damage from super mutants. Eh. He's got a mechanic jumpsuit, a patch suit. Alright, that's all he's got that I care about. I'm gonna buy that. And I will sell him my left arm. That is what I bought, right? Yeah, champion left arm. And you can have this. So 642 caps later, I come out a little stronger. Hopefully this looks cool. <laughs> if I was going solely on looks, I wouldn't be wearing the army fatigues because I think they actually look pretty dumb. Doesn't really look like anything, but okay. All right, we'll quick save that, and let's go ahead and turn this quest in. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. You find those raiders? Yeah, kick their asses. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Alright, that's pretty cool. I don't really know what you're going to do for me, but I'm glad to know that Seems you are willing well. to help. I'm just going to steal all your potatoes. You don't mind, right? Alright, I should never need potatoes again. Let's trade some things. Who is this person? Sure thing. <laughs> I was looking at me like, oh. So this is the kind of thing where I don't even... I'm not even buying from him, I'm just taking his stuff. Well, I need this stuff more than you do, especially the shotgun shells. So... Give it to me. <laughs> Thanks, homie. Alright, so it said we had access to the workshop here at... What the fuck is that? Holy shit! Oh my god, who threw a grenade? <laughs> Dude, the, the look of that thing actually, like, really tripped me out at first. And, Nick, when I gave you grenades, they were to be used against, like, really tough raiders and super mutants and shit like that. Not, like, rad roaches. So, I would appreciate if you could just use a tidbit more discretion when it comes to the grenades, okay? Just do that for me, please. Glowing rad roach. Man. Okay, I don't know what the difference is. Besides looks. But yeah, that, that was creepy. So, can we... Enter settlement mode? Yeah. So we have another place to build up. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm not sure how much I plan on doing stuff with other settlements. I don't see the point. I feel like we should just have everybody come live with us in Sanctuary. I mean, this place kind of sucks. It's not very big. The land sucks. It's out in the middle of nowhere. I mean... We could give them some defenses. I don't really feel like wasting junk on it right now, though. I might have to do some research and figure out, like, why it's desirable to have multiple settlements. Because right now, I'm just not feeling it. But I think we will go back to Sanctuary, talk to Preston. I wish uh, I was like close to leveling up because I feel like it's been forever. I think this quest that we just did, the whole Ten Pines thing, was probably like a lower level kind of thing that we probably should have done a long time ago. Seeing as how all those guys are all like level 1 and 2. And I'm back to not being able to sprint. Oh my god, that bothers me so much. 
Also, where's Preston? Preston, you come to me. I feel like looking for you. Hey, homie, what are you, you up know to? What? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Yeah. I hope you get some new dialogue soon. Who's this shady looking fucker? What's going on? Hey, there's Preston. Hope this rain lets up soon. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. Great. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So, <laughs> there's something I need to ask you. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. No, you did not. Uh, that's funny, though, that they just answered my question about why I want more settlements. <laughs> I'm glad that they told me that. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. Tell me more about this Quincy Massacre, because that lady mentioned it earlier and I didn't know what she was talking about. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord. So this guy kind of likes to pretend like he's the leader of the Minutemen, but really he was just the last one left. I guess that does technically make him the leader, but... But also not really, you know what I mean? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Uh, why me? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. With you at the helm, the Minutemen could be a big damn deal. Well, if you say so, Nick. I trust your judgment. Sort of. Okay. I'll do it. Finally. Something going the Commonwealth's way. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. General. <laughs> Guys, check me out. I'm a general. That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. <laughs> what? The scouts have found a promising <laughs> spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Oh, okay. I think we ought to talk. Oh? Um, sure. What's up, Nick? What's wrong? Wrong? Oh, no. Nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. We've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, 
Anything you want to know? Oh, that's very uh, big of you. Uh, <laughs> no, not interested. What a dick thing to say. What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years, and someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side, and that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world, with such people in it. Huh. I was hoping for more, like, direct information. Like, where are they? What kind of people are they? What kind of technology do they have? How well are they armed? Anything you could tell me to help me take those bastards out. Although, to be fair, I don't even know if I really am against them yet, because I haven't met them, so. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war, faded to all heck of guys dressed like this doing what I do, putting on the hat and trench coat, and I figured it let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. I respect that. But then the question is, who are you? So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth. Authentic Institute handiwork. But I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. That's really interesting. I did not know that about you, Nick. You're a robot? <laughs> Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. Yeah, you know, you catch me in the right mood. You were a sideshow. Kindness creates kindness. Visit that town? Yeah, that sounds interesting. Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. Ah, oh, fucking raiders. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. Well, that was interesting. Another settlement has sent word that they need our help. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. <laughs> okay. I guess Preston was just hanging out here waiting for our conversation to end so he could give me another quest. Yeah, I noticed that uh, as soon as I became the general of the Minutemen, everybody, like, fucking fell in love with me. Like, Nick, like, admired it, and then Piper liked it, and then Nick liked it again, and Preston was, like, sucking my dick, and... Ah, that was good stuff. Alright, so that's good. We got a couple more quests to do for this guy. Uh, Minutemen stuff is probably what we'll stick with for a little while at least. 
Uh, the Starlight Drive-In, I think I found that place earlier. I, I noticed it was a drive-in, so... It looked pretty abandoned back then, but I guess it'll be populated now. So, anyway guys, I'm gonna sign off for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'm the longest of the couches. And I will catch you guys in the next part. Goodbye. What is this shit? What? Oh, okay. I guess I left this stuff over here and forgot about it. <laughs> More stuff. Cool. Alright guys, seriously. See ya.